Put on my edges and I'll be right back. Okay. <laughs> Hi guys and welcome back to my channel, it's Princess Renny here and I am super excited to tell you guys about this. This might be the absolute best Amazon crochet hair I've ever tried. Ever. Like, ever. Like what? Oh! Alright, so let's get into this product and I'm going to show you guys how I did my hair how I did um, these lovely passion twists from Amazon. I'm also gonna link it below so you guys can get it yourself. Uh, it's so lightweight, it's bouncy, it's so easy to like um, do it. And yeah, I am loving it. <laughs> now, what I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna take these down and I'm going to section it off. Um, I believe I'm going to have the front section really um, kind of look like it's um, box twist or whatever you want to call it. And I'm going to be using these to crochet my hair. Which I mean baby steps this, as I mentioned before. Might take me all day. Right now it's 1.39. <laughs> Um, we got a long way to go. So these are how tiny uh, this is. So um, I'm gonna have to make like super slim sections and just do like boxes of that. But it's gonna be twists, it's not gonna be braids, so that's gonna make my life easier. But yeah, I'm just gonna do the front section. So I'm gonna take it down. By the way, can we just, can we just, can we just? Yes, my hair is so moisturized. I just hate that the coconut is sitting there, but we're going to get through it. Okay, here we are. This and this. I'm gonna trim my hair after I take this um, protective style out, by the way. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'm not gonna make it super duper tiny. I think I'll do them like this size or something along those lines, but I'm just gonna kind of freestyle it. So, do that. And then I kind of wanna, um, a little slimmer so it'll be like that size and again I'm just estimating so all right so let's see how this would look being against this super slim section here I just want to imagine it because, well, it's very important that you can kind of see it. So this is what that section looks like. And if I were to like have the hair, let me move the hair, like that, with this size, oh my gosh, it's kind of hard to imagine it, but basically you guys get what I'm trying to like see. Like, okay, is this section big enough? Is it too small? I think it's a perfect size. And it does not need to be perfect, by the way. It does not need to be perfect at all. So I'm gonna go ahead and do this front section here in uh, mini twists. And then after that, um, I'll come back and show you guys what that looks like. And then we're gonna go to the back and I'll show you guys when we move to the back. So yeah, mini twists. In the front, let it twist, let me in the front, hey. <laughs> That's on my knee. Okay, so I would never sit down and do all of this. 
to every section of my hair. Just no. Just no. Just no. Alright, so that's what we're gonna do. Um, section by section, I'm going to like actually put it aside like that and then I'm just going to put the two together. But the goal is to just wrap them, twist them together and then I'm going to do a braid. My only issue is you can't really see the box. That's so sad. Alright, I have this like planned out. Perfectly. Doesn't look like it's gonna work out that way, so it looks like I'm gonna have to do one big giant twist. So that defeats the purpose of me doing them super tiny, but it's okay. Um, actually. Let me go ahead and see how this would look with the twists themselves. Let's see, let's see. Don't tell me you guys are unraveling. Okay. So I'm gonna open this out and see what I can do with this. Cause listen, by the way, this pack comes with like seven in them. So it's more than enough. And this is what the hair looks like. And they come in these individual, like, I look crazy, but um, they come in these individual like packs so that you can like separate them, do whatever you gotta do. So, let's take this off. Man, they really try to secure this here. No. Let me use my scissors or something. It's gonna take me forever. Okay, never mind. I don't need scissors. Alright, so I'm gonna try to see if I can. Blend this hair with mine. Oh, another thing. It also comes with crochet hair and these things. I'm sure I showed you guys already. But, um, yeah. Let's get it high. Let's get it high. Yeah, I did not do all these twists for nothing. You can't tell me that. No way. And then, maybe one of these days, I'm actually going to go ahead and do because they look so cute it's just you gotta have the patience I think that's what it was I was like oh my gosh I would never do many twists especially if they take so long um, I'm just gonna do one strand because I want to see how it looks and then based on that I'm gonna be able to decide what I'm doing with the front of this hair so I'm just gonna get the hair hook it on Let it stay in there, pull it through, and then open it up. make sure that they're both together and then I guess right then we can try to wrap it around Let's see
And then what I'm doing right now is I'm pulling this just to make it longer and more realistic at the bottom. So it's gonna look super messy, but it works. Do you guys see that? And it looks like I just did a whole thing. And this is how long it is, by the way. It's like really long, bouncy, and cute. Okay, so we can do that to the front section because there's no way I did all that work for nothing. So, yeah, and it's going to be really loose, but it's going to make it easier for me to take it out. And maybe I could even reuse this hair. Excitement! Excitement! All right, so... What I'm going to do now is I'm going to separate this hair. As you can see, this is how much I did. And I think it's a decent amount. As long as you get like one third or a quarter of your hair, you should be fine. I'm actually going to combine this together. Maybe wrap you around. Yeah, wrap you around so you can keep the hair. Oh, together. Yes. There we go. <laughs> Yeah, I cracked myself up. This is very creative. All right, and we'll tuck you under. Beautiful, awesome. Now I'm gonna do some braids in the back. And they're just basic braids that you would do for crochet here. By the way, can we just get into this? Like, my hair is so moisturized, it smells so good. Oh my gosh. And by the way, the oil, like you can feel it in your hair so you really don't need to add anything else just the water and this product don't add any additional oil and that's what i like about products with oil of course i'm not a fan of coconut oil and i could already see like it's not even going into my strands these are actually going to be flakes later on when i take my hair out um but you see that yep that's that's what it looks like anyways um no matter how much i rub no matter how much i try to like put it uh in the strands it just doesn't go even if I use like hot water which warm water was in my spray bottle yeah it doesn't work so we're just gonna go ahead and undo this hair you shouldn't have to detangle your hair again because you already did that um, but yeah I'm just gonna get the first few actually over here and then I'm gonna do some I'm actually not gonna part my hair because this needs to be perfect. Um, well, I'm not gonna part it with a comb, my bad. I'm not gonna part it with a comb. I'm gonna part my hair, just not with a comb, because it doesn't need to be perfect. But I'm just gonna separate a small section, just like this, it needs to be super tiny, because you wanna make it look as realistic as possible um, when it comes to this hair stuff. So, I'm gonna go in, and I'm gonna just do my cornrow, And it doesn't need to be tight either. So I'll just do it real quick. Oh, you guys can't see my baby. My baby had friends. Let me get a little bit closer. Can y'all see this? So yeah, this is the section that I'm corn rowing right now. Hope y'all can see what I'm doing. So that's basically what I'm going to do and then I'm just going to curl the ends because you always want to make sure that as a natural your ends aren't braided all the way down because you have to think about the takedown process after. If you have to like find it really really tiny down here you're going to get uh, like first of all it's going to take you forever but you can also get those snags and those knots in your hair. So like for me if I wanted to take this down I would just start 
right here and once I have it I just pull it like you guys have seen me do my um braid out before so it's similar to that but I always leave the ends available whether I'm doing uh braids or whether I'm doing twists like you'll see just for the takedown process okay so that's my first braid I'm gonna go ahead and do another but this time it's gonna be a little different um just a little bit different you guys are gonna see in a second what I'm doing right now is I'm just feeling and basically parting the hair wherever it wants to part like <laughs> it's not really it doesn't take much but yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and this is actually one of the fastest parts I'm just gonna go ahead and braid And then right here at the bottom, I'm going to connect this hair. Just going to add it in. So we have you and you. And you. So just adding you guys in as we go along, okay? And you're adding it in so that it's easier when you get to the end so all the hair is going to be in one section and then you can probably like crochet it either at the bottom or crochet it into um, another braid so you can hide it um, and it's just gonna make your life so much easier and there's one less thing that you have to worry about like what am I gonna do with all those strands I don't know or all those braids I don't know and yeah it's just gonna make it easier trust trust all right so I'm gonna keep doing that, just parting and braiding, parting and braiding. Then I'm gonna come back and show you guys what I do after I finish with that last braid that's gonna be on the other side, okay? I'll be back. So, this is what I'm working with. And I have this one last piece. I could essentially split it in Half, but I'm being lazy so we're just not gonna do that I'm just gonna braid you want to make sure you're detangling your hair because it's been out for a while so of course your hair well for me if I leave my hair out for too long and it's um still kind of damp it kind of like just connects with other strands so there's some parts that I just have to detangle as I go. Like right here. And you just want to take your time. Wherever your fingers are, you're just separating. Like that. Like pulsing to separate, I guess. Here's a car outside last week. Hey, they lit. Hey, 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 hey. <laughs> I don't know what they're saying. 
in Spanish or something. But okay, this is it. And then, also being lazy, I'm just gonna go in, tuck it under. You're just finding the little areas where you connected the hair to the other braid. I'm just gonna go ahead and pick under, under, and under. And that should be it. I really hope you guys are able to see this hair. Let me go down. Okay. I really hope y'all saw that. Okay. So, that's what I'm working with back there. And then this is what I'm working with in the front. So we're still gonna leave the front the way that it is, but now we're gonna take the hair. You guys know how to crochet, right? I kinda showed you guys how I did it with this uh, twist, but I'm gonna go ahead and I just show you guys again. So I'm not really starting any particular way. Just gonna go into that skin hair, hook this on it, pull this through. And then pull this strand of hair through, just like that. Yep. And then you just keep going. I'm gonna do it super spaced out here because, well, I don't wanna waste the hair. And I actually don't know how many um, mini twists I did, so I wanna make sure I have enough for that. Like that's the most important thing. Once I have the mini twists like figured out, then I can like go back in and add more hair. But for right now, just gonna go and do it like this. And super quick, super simple. Ugh. Save so much time. And then don't worry about these bumps. Like that's gonna be hidden um, under all the hair that you're adding. So yeah, guys, we're protective hairstyle. Oh my gosh, I'm so excited. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna open this up. Let me show you guys how you do it. Open it up. And then I hold it because I don't want to lose it. You go, make sure this is open. Make sure the latch hook is open. Put this hair on top of it by the hook. Close it. Pull it through. Once it's through, keep that on it. Open it up and pull it through. I like to do it this way. I've seen people like use the crochet tool the entire time to like pull the hair through and all that stuff. I don't want it snagging this hair, even though it's not like perfect. I still want to keep as much of the twists and like the imperfections without me messing it up even more. So we're just gonna go in and we're just gonna do, we're gonna keep going. All right, so we're moving back. This is what we're working with so far, and we're just gonna keep going. So we go on to the next strand of hair, the next braid, and then we go to the next braid, the next braid, the next braid, the next braid, all the way through. Once I'm done putting the hair in all of these, then I'll be back to show you guys what I'm doing to the front. We're gonna finish up the front together, and then we should be done.
we're almost done guys but something i realized like so close to the end of doing this is um a technique that i'm gonna show you guys how i do it right now so <laughs> i can't okay so the technique that i'm gonna show you guys right now hold on brace for it brace yourselves for it I only used um four and a half packs this uh i think i'm gonna end up using basically about five packs with a few um hairs left over or a few strands left over um but the thing that i realized that i was doing wrong is when i put this in and i didn't get to record it for you guys but i've been doing that basically for most of the hair in front um you go under same thing that you've been doing before you unravel it open it up hook it on close it pull it through you open it and then of course you pull that twist through and then you hold both of them your hair and their hair whoever hair <laughs> your hair and the twist um and then you pull it as tight as possible then this is the part where um i mix it up a bit so you're gonna unravel the twist and i think i might have seen this somewhere before and i completely forgot about it but you unravel the twist and then you go and twist around it so as you're going down you're unraveling that twist and you're keeping your twist intact while unraveling theirs so twist twist unravel twist twist unravel And then as you're unraveling, it's basically just adhering to your um, hair itself. And then it's just gonna stay and like lock it in for real. So unravel, twist, twist. And then I just keep twisting until I see that it needs to be unraveled again. Um, so yeah, now it's time for me to unravel it. So when you unravel it, it'll just basically be like this. Twist, twist, unravel. Twist, twist. You guys get the idea. And you keep going all the way until your hair is basically connected to the twist. Yep. And then you want to let it kind of like suck it in or whatever you call it. Um, and then basically this is what it's gonna look like. So it's gonna start out really nice, really strong. You could pull it out if you want to, to make it look a little less uniform. But basically, your hair's a part of it now. You're part of the family now. Part of the family. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and finish these in front here, and then we're gonna see what our hair is looking like when I'm done. This took me a long time, but I'm giving myself 10 more minutes. At five, we'll be done, and then we're set to go and live our best lives. <laughs> Guys, I don't know, I don't know, don't ask, please, don't ask. All right, so we got very far with this hair. These are passion twists. So 
with my edges and I'll be right back. Okay, all right, so. <laughs> All right guys, well I hope you enjoyed my video on these passion twists. Um, let me know if you've ever tried passion twists, crochet passion twists before, or if you're willing to try these. Again, I will link it below. And yeah, thanks again for watching. Be blessed, spread love, and stay beautiful inside and out. Bye. By the way, don't forget to subscribe. Like, subscribe, yeah. Oh my gosh, look at them, look at it. Okay, I heard you. All right, okay. <laughs> All right guys, so <laughs> in today's video,